The report certainly provided a very useful basis for the discussion, and it was very uh, helpful to find uh, ways in which comments were made on the report that also gave it a flavor of being inclusive, more inclusive than it could have been. As it said, there's only a progress report now, and more will be added to it. What I found striking is the way in which people are anxious to say we must not look for an alternative of if it's either or, but how you can in fact find ways by which setting precisely what the relationship is about, questioning though its relevance and effectiveness and efficiency. Simon Wex, Maxwell made those remarks very early on. And that relevance has to take into account what is happening in the wider world. And also, not losing sight that uh, as the representative from the African Union said, we still have to be concerned in Africa, as for all developing countries, about development and poverty eradication. I try to stress that, that there's common ground. When we come to the common values that we share in the ACP with the EU, it's because also in the EU, the Lisbon Treaty says the common competence right across the Union is in fact poverty eradication. Yeah. And that's what we are about. Well, one major change is in Goal 17, where we speak of the global partnership. We've always been saying, after post-Busan and Paris Agenda and the principles about ownership and mutual accountability, a global partnership for effective development cooperation has to come to the fore, the actors. And the actors are not only or even primarily or exclusively at all governments. But in fact, that process that is going to involve the stakeholders, I think that's welcome. When we go through all the goals, we have to be careful those on which we will be able to concentrate and give more attention. For instance, goal three now has become very important for us in the question of health and access to health. We've seen what the Ebola crisis has done to West African countries. Countries that were in conflict, now countries have to build and recuperate and rehabilitate, and therefore we must link what is being done in the health systems overall to build up resistance to, but also to ensure that the health of people can be a, a, a priority because without that we cannot really see the possibilities of work and jobs being created etc. So we like very much to focus on some of the goals in a more detailed way but see that all embracing one on the partnership for effective job cooperation as essential in our work. <laughs>